Hey Vs, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a 1% hyaluronic acid solution or stock. And so hyaluronic acid comes in a powder, so this is how we turn it into a stock that we can then easily use in recipes that have a water phase, so things like lotions and serums. So yeah, pretty awesome thing to have on hand, and uh, you'll definitely be seeing this ingredient come up in projects in the future. So hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, if you wanna learn more about hyaluronic acid, just today, I have released a partner blog post for this video, which not only has all the instructions and you know, pictures and stuff for this DIY all written out for you, so you can sort of peruse them piece by piece if you so choose, but there's also a bunch of research there, so you can learn about hyaluronic acid and roosters. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> go click through to learn more and keep watching to make this. So yeah, let's get started. So we'll begin by measuring everything into a beaker. And so you'll want to be making sure that for this project you're using quite an accurate scale. So this one is accurate to 0.01 grams. So we're going to start with our water. We need 98.5 grams of that. Then we'll be adding half a gram of liquid germal plus, which will take us up to 99 grams. And then we can top it up to 100 grams with one gram of hyaluronic acid. And that will give us a 1% solution. And so this hyaluronic acid was a gift from the lovely folks at Pure Nature. So a huge, huge thank you to them. All right, so 98.5 grams. half a gram of liquid germal plus this is our preservative and one gram of our hyaluronic acid powder so now the hard part is resisting the urge to stir it so we're just going to take it off and cover it with our piece of cling film here and we're going to leave it to hydrate on its own. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half and you can see that it started to hydrate. When I tip it, you can kind of see that there's this like blob on the top that is uh, you know, sort of much thicker and much more sort of solid and gelatinous than the underlying water. But yeah, definitely still got some soaking to do here. Okay, well it's now been three hours and this has continued to hydrate. I can definitely still see some solid blobs in there. Um, and you can start to see significantly less dry powder. There's just these sort of concentrated lumps that just look like kind of clusters of really tiny bubbles. So definitely still needs to hydrate some more, but we are getting there. All right, well, it's now been just over 10 hours. You definitely don't have to wait this long. I just, you know, went for a run and had dinner and my day got away from me. Um, you can see there's definitely no dry white bits in here anymore, but I don't know how well that's coming across. There is like a noticeable kind of blob in there. So in order to fully incorporate that, I'm going to employ my wonderful little mini mixer here. So this is from Lotion Crafter, but as you can see, the brand is Bonjour and it's a, a mixer for, you know, for lattes and things. But the nice thing about this one is that it takes four double A's instead of two. And a lot of these mixers take two double A's and the four double A's uh, definitely makes a really big impact in how much kick this bad boy has. So we're just gonna give this a blend. I can really feel there's this like solid, let's see if I can really get that to show you, these like solid jelloid lumps <laughs> in here and then bits that are still just like watery so I'm just going to give this a blend to fully incorporate i'm going to make sure i'm keeping the blender quite low and quite flat without trying to uh beat up the beaker all right well you can see how viscous that is it really traps quite a lot of air bubbles those will work their way out a bit on their own but now we can bottle it. So I've got a 120 milliliter bottle here and I am going to employ a funnel since this is rather viscous. Look at that, it's so cool, it's so viscous. Ah ha ha, bubbles. And obviously you wanna scrape out every last bit of this since depending on where you live, there's probably at least $5 worth of 
hyaluronic acid in here. We can grab some of these spare bits. You can definitely see it's got a lovely gel-like consistency. It spreads just gorgeously. We've got amazing slip. Just, oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go uh, cover myself in the remainders when I'm done this video. But yeah, there you go. You just made a 1% hyaluronic acid solution. Uh, pretty simple. As you can see, you could 100% just kind of use it like this as a hydrating toner or stay tuned for more recipes where we'll be using this 1% solution to make all kinds of awesome things. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. Do remember to click through to the blog. I've got a whole research piece on hyaluronic acid that came out today as well. So you can learn more and yeah, happy making.